All right, today I'm going to show you how I um, block Reality Print from accessing the internet. Um, I just don't like um, that it can basically phone home. So this is how I do it. Uh, I go down and press the uh, start button. Then I will type in uh, Windows Defender Firewall here. You click on that. And it will bring up this page here. Then you click on Advanced Settings. It will bring this up. Then you go to Inbound Rules. Um, and this you will create a new rule here. You can see I've got some in here. Um, and as they update I just add an additional rule um, so you go up here and you click new rule and we'll open this one up and to find um, you know where this needs to be your program so this is the name so uh, this right here is the name you give it so for each update there is I just basically add a new rule and you click block the connection then you'll go over to programs and services and to find what program you need um, we'll go into um, we'll go to Creality Print 6.0 right click on it and go down to properties and this is where you need to be um, so you look for this in here this is basically the application um, and the desktop icon is a shortcut oops so we go into where did our window go here um, here it is alright so you go into browse then for me, it was into, um, well, here. It was uh, C, Program Files, um, Presenter Creality, Creality Print, and this one right here. So that's the one you'd select. You click Open. All right, so we, have, we just chose the program here, Creality Print 6.0. Um, that is basically the application for, um, you know, or the the executable file for 6.0. Remote computers, um, nothing. Um, then we go to ports and protocols. This is going to be any uh, protocol type on here. Then the scope is where we're going to set our um, our IP address range for our printers. So it'll block all other IP addresses except for the ones your printers are on um, for me let me pull up the video here alright so for me I've got a um, network cabinet I put in my basement um, this is where all my network gear is and also on the side I have just an extra wireless router here this is my router that connects all my printers together I've named it print farm so this is the one that connects everything and I've got it disconnected from my main switch so it's uh, what you would call air gapped and from there we go into our printer here um, I've got my K1 Max pulled up um, you can do this two different ways we can go into the settings of the printer then we go to network and we look at our IP address. It's a 192.168.1.134. So we know our router is operating on the 192.168.1.1 um, uh, range. The other way you can do it is if you go into Creality Print, you go to Device, and if there if you already got your devices on Creality Print, um, then you could see the IP addresses here for. Uh, the IP address is here too or also um, you can see my K2 plus is on uh, the same range the 192.168.1.107 um, my all my other uh, my K1's and K1 maxes I use um, Kira for the slicer then on the K2 I use Creality Print for the slicer uh, just to let you know so we're gonna go back to our protocol here um, 
So we go into scope and this is where you set it. So it's going to block, uh, you click on these IP addresses and um, it will, it basically, it'll block any IP address except for the range you put in here. So as you can see, I've got uh, basically from 0 to 192.168.0.255. Um, that is 255 is one less the so the 0.255 is one less than 1.0 or 1.0 so anyway that's how that's how it is the once you get up to 255 on the number you it's uh, you click up the, the the previous number if that makes sense the previous uh, I don't know how to explain it but 192.168.0.255 the next step up be 192.168.1.0. So that's how they work. So basically here what I'm doing is I'm blocking all IP addresses before the range of my router and all IP addresses after the range of my router. So the uh, so it cannot talk to anything um, internal or external of that. Then um, same thing here you want to take these um, and you want to do the same thing here you want to you want to add these in this one here too so this you want to go with uh, IP address range 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and then you want to go to 192.168.0.255 oh, Yours may be 192.168.1.1 uh, or, you know, 192.168.5. So you got you to kind of find your uh, the range your router's working in. Then you also want to add um, the ranges above it. So 192.168.2.0. And that's going to go to basically all of the IP addresses above that so if you're if you're you, basically what we're doing is we're only allowing the program to talk to the range that's inside the router this is this is how I do it and if you um, you can do that too for if your router is connected to the internet and you do the same thing it's basically it can only talk to your local IP addresses um, on the remote remote IP addresses you can do this here you can add this in here also or you can just do any IP address so the rule when it's blocked this is the inbound rule it's going to be blocked any remote IP address which is basically anything other than um, local IP addresses if that makes sense um, let's see here and there's really nothing here you want to make sure all your rules apply to all three of your um, internet your public private and domain um, nothing in here and remote users nothing so you're gonna that's your set there then you also want to create an outbound rule same thing uh, you're gonna click new rule then you're gonna name the rule how I uh, this is how I name them it's gonna block this the Crowley print 6.0 kind of the same thing um, we're going to go in and find the program, the, the, the executable file for Creality 6.0. That's there. Uh, nothing on the remote computers. Ports and protocols, same thing, nothing. Then we're going to go into scope and same thing here. It's only, it's going to block everything from uh, 0, 0.0 all the way up to 192.168.0.255. Then it'll also block, it'll, then it'll allow uh, basically 168.1.0 uh, to 168.1.0 that if that makes sense then it will also block uh, 192.168.2.0 to the, the rest of them then we're blocking also we're also blocking any remote or outside IP address then same thing make sure all three of your networks are s selected here and nothing here so then you click OK and this will block your Creality print from being able to access 
uh, outside connections or any other connection other than your printers or the, or the network your printers are on. You won't be able to send information out to the Creality server or anything like that. You cannot check for updates. It won't check for updates. It's just, it's basically, you've, you've blocked it from the internet access. Um, then, it, kind of one more thing, if, um, when I have, so my printer is connected to Ethernet through my uh, switch in there, um, so that's how I get internet to the computer, then I will, on desktops, I'm sure it's with any computer, you can connect to Ethernet and Wi-Fi at the same time, at least I can. So my Ethernet is my internet, and then the wireless, I, uh, I connect to the, the wireless network that all my printers are attached to. So that's how I like to do it. I like to have the, the computer uh, internet's going through Ethernet and then my wireless um, I connect to the, the router that all my printers are on and that air gaps the printers uh, from the internet. So they cannot talk, they cannot send out or phone home or check for updates. Um, all my K1s, I have, I'm running the, um, I'm not running the stock firmware on it. I'm running a updated firmware and it basically bricks them from Creality Print anyway, uh, except I've got one Max that I haven't converted yet. Then my K2s, those are also, um, those only connect to Creality Print because of the CFS, um. I haven't found any good uh, alternate slicer than other than maybe Orca, um, which is I think Creality Print's built on. So anyway, I just use Creality Print for my K2s. I use Cura for my my K1s, and um, yeah, that's it. So that's how I block um, Creality Print from the internet.